the first game I've been to was Newcastle versus Arsenal in the 2011-12 season. So, came up with my dad literally um, at that moment of time. I didn't really watch Newcastle awful lot. It was the fact that the first time we won the championship back in 2009 when I really started to watch one. I mean, yeah, I hoped at that point. I was excited for the season. Uh, coming down there, nil nil against Arsenal was in the end. But Arsenal were really good back then. I finished third that season, I think it was. So, for the first game, I went pretty well. Obviously, Joey Barton's last one match. Ended up getting a scrap with Javinho and getting uh, sent off. But in terms of the match itself, it was a pretty boring game, but it was a good point. Ooh, favourite goal. Now, everyone's going to say Ben Arthur. All the games being been, oh, Ben Arthur, Ben Arthur, Ben Arthur. But I'll probably say that one. I think Ben Arthur against Bourne is probably the best goal I've ever seen live. Obviously, your boy Ryan's here. I mean, he's got a really nice half body against Evan. Really underrated goal, that one. But Sir Max with Oxford away, 180 minute. That one is not too bang as well. But for me, though, I had to say Ben Arthur against Bourne. I mean, he just ran for all the players. I mean, it's just ridiculous, really, was. My favourite player growing up. Well, like I said before, I didn't actually get any cast until like 2009-ish, so thank God my uh, hero wasn't Mike Long because I can't stand him. But uh, in terms of my players growing up, um, before I started watching the game, my hero would have been Andy Cowell. Uh, that season when he left, I mean, he was really good that season. Yeah, it's hard to see him go and deadline day, but yeah, um, he was an actual target man. I mean, in terms of heroes, probably have to see him. Favourite kit. Ooh. In terms of ones that I have, it has to be the goalkeeper at the top with the, the brown ale and the orange one with like the time bridge. Uh, honestly, I love that kit so much. It wasn't cheap to get, but in terms of more modern kits or games I've been to, I mean, I probably did. I like the yellow one, and that season will beat Man U. Uh, I really like that one. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of got mixed feelings on it, but that one I just think really stood out and uh, definitely one of my favourite ones. Favourite manager, I mean. Well, again, the ones I've been at, it's like, well, Pardew, Benitez, McLaren, or Steve Bruce. So, I mean, well, which one are going to pick out with that one? But, yeah, it has to be Benitez, uh, especially the fact when we got relegated, he stuck by him. Gave him a few really good seasons, and unfortunately, in the end, the club let him down. That's why he went off. Player broke my heart. Uh, in terms of players leaving, obviously, I talked about Andy Carroll before, but I think Kabai was another big one. Um, especially the fact that he worked out himself. I think half the season really did stitch the team over. At that point, we we're in the top 10 going towards a European spot, and God knows where we would have finished otherwise. But I mean, Kabai leaves to go to PSG, Remy gets injured, but that was just a season over at that point. So, yeah, that one definitely broke my heart. Moment that broke my heart. <laughs> I mean, where'd I begin with this one? There's so many different ones I can say, but the two that stick out to me was first one, the Norwich one, where we lost 3-2. I went down there, I mean, spent 10 hours getting down there, I mean, yeah. 2-2, two -two, Mikovic carries the team to the 90th minute. I'm thinking, you know what, a point's going to be right from this game. Olsen steps up, puts a post in, and I mean, the Norwich fans have got to clap us out of the wave and around. I mean, that wouldn't really tick me off, but another one again, man, you away, two and a half to nine minutes, the first team ever in Premier League issue to do that, and we went and bottled the full thing, so... Yeah, it has to be those two I brought my heart. Oof, I won't forget, um, my personal favourite one would be the Oxford one I said earlier. So I went down to the Oxford game Tuesday night. I was absolutely hammered for that game. Uh, pretty much my mate was down there, lived in Oxford. But if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel in the first place. So, I mean, meeting him in real life was obviously great. And I mean, in terms of the match itself, five go for it. I say Max win. At that point, when we bottled the 2-0 lead, I assume we are going to lose the game. But... He turns up 180 minute and just sends the, the win in that absolute disarray. But admittedly, I didn't get my dick out. But uh, in terms of the game itself, it was a really good one. My favourite current player. I mean, everyone's going to say Sir Maxman, but I really like Callum Wilson. It's such a shame he's injury prone because I honestly think if he isn't injury prone, he could be a 20 25 goal season strike. I really think he's that good. but. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of people love to see Alan to Maxman, but I really do think Callum Wilson's a fantastic number nine.